Yeah. Hello again, everybody, and welcome here to this beautifully laid out ground that is the rag, which lies between Tullus and Borussalee. Uh, it's there on that main road, and the contestants there today for the county on the 21B final. A golden kilfeekle out there on the field, clad in their all familiar green jersey with white togs, whilst on our left. Above at the top end here, beside the score posts, we have the opposition, Upper Church. They done the famous black and amber of the Kilkenny colours, but the church have been associated with these colours for a long number of years. And the church would possi possibly be the favourites coming into today's county final because having won the mid, they had a hard fought semi final in the county with Kildangan and they beat them by one pint. Whereas Golden Kilfeekle annihilated all the opposition in the West, uh, winning the Winning the uh, uh, county semi-final, uh, winning the county semi-final against uh, Skeena Rinky there by five or six pints, played below on care on a wet, windy, heavy, sodden pitch. And hopefully today's game will go well for both teams and maybe, if I'm to be a small bit biased, maybe victory back to the West lads, Golden Kilfeagle. The pitch has been quite lucky for them. Uh, they've won three county finals here in the last number of years, winning a county on the 21A against Tumivara here, played in snowy conditions back there in uh, November, in December 99, maybe January 2000. And uh, also won a county on the 21B football and uh, also won uh, an under 12 final. The referee for today's game is none other than the great John Cleary from a place called Noxigown. The second part of the parish they inform me is up in County Offaly. And uh, Michael Murphy and C. Uh, Leary are his two. Uh, linesmen, so the officials are all there, so pitch is very well lined and of course thanks to a great Mark McGrath who is the uh, man in charge here, he has done a wonderful job uh, with the lining of the pitches and flags out etc. Now a sincere thanks to Mark McGrath and the Drum and Inch Club for hosting today's uh, County on the 21 uh, B holding final. Uh, I suppose in West Tipperary we, we would be wondering uh, how the two competitions actually uh, got into the uh, mid uh, for the finals, that is Golden Kilfeekel against Upper Church played here in the rag and tomorrow then you have uh, Clonorty Ross Moore against Tullus Southfield that's played in Borlaham so the West have to travel into the mid twice but hopefully uh, we'll get at least one victory if not two out of it uh, Golden line out has selected with Christopher Ryan in goal Matthew Ryan Kevin Maloney and Alan Wade Shane O'Connell Aidan O'Connell and Stephen Ryan uh, James O'Connell is captain with Sean Hayes and Joshua Keane Christopher Ryan Sean Ryan Shiner Liam Nagel is in the corner Thomas Burns is full and, Dan and uh, Young Barlow is top of the Left. That's the only change for young Daniel Cullivan, who possibly isn't hard luck. The selectors would have a hard job in trying to pick the best 15, but that's what they've decided to do. This Jim Fogarty, Kevin Maloney, and of course Shawnee O'Halloran, the governor there in that local uh, drinking house in the Bridge House in Gold. There's a bit of niddling going on, the ball is in, the game is on. Stalemate around central field, it's like a bloody scrum there at the moment. The ball, uh, Golden, are playing from right to left, I think, there, and the ball comes down to the far side. Ball goes out of his hand, pretends to go left, and a shot that's high, that's good. And it just goes to the left of the post and wide from Ger Barlow there, who is in at corner forward, uh, number 15. Golden play from left to right, uh, have the breeze in their backs, whatever breeze is blowing. And the upper church team is the young Grant is in goal, Dear McGrant, Ger Fogarty, Sean Harty, and Eugene Burke, Ger Grant, John Ryan Jay, and David Buckus. And the ball is poked out, they lands on the half back line, half forward line, Aidan O'Connell puts up his hand, but Elby O'Donoghue is also well there. Golden are breaking away, and a great clearance there from number five, that's Shane O'Connell. Uh, hustled and bustled but he gets his way out and breaks through loses the ball again and the well hooked there but the ball is it gone to the safety of the touchline it's not the golden full back is back there Kevin Maloney and Alan Wade is also there along with PJ Burke and Paul Ryan the captain is also well there but the referee uh, awards a free out that's John Cleary he awards a free out uh, to Golden there and on the far side from roughly the maybe the 14 yard line the good crowd here on the stand beyond on the far side uh, all waiting anxiously there for the, what, the first score of the game will certainly liven things up. The goalkeeper is Christopher Ryan, this fellow is a great uh, slap in the ball, he could drive it maybe 75, 80 yards. It's a great ball, it lands there on the half back, half forward line there. Young Barlow has it again, he's causing a small bit of problems and a great shot there from number 10. That's uh, Josh Keane, a wonderful score for him. 
Uh, Josh was on the minor uh, panel there last year that won a, a minor, or this year that won a minor All Ireland, and a great score from Josh. There was a bit of niggling going on beyond the first side, but a wonderful score from Josh Keane and a great pass there from uh, Young Barlow. Uh, Seamus Armstrong and Padre Green are centre field with Paul Shannon, Aylby Donoghue, and Kieran Scott there on the half forward line. Goldman winning that clash and a great uh, pull on the ground there by Aidan O'Connell, the centre back, and uh, Young Barlow was judged to have fouled uh, Ger Forward there on the first side, and uh, just a bit of hard luck for him. but. Uh, Church are certainly steeped in hurling traditions and Sean Burke, Paul Ryan is the captain at full forward and PJ Burke. Uh, this ball is to be taken there, the free to be taken by John Ryan J. A long ball up into this, oh, a, a good catch there, but the ball falls out of his hand and Golden are rallying well to the cause. But number 12, a shot that's high. The umpire looks up and uh, a great score from, is it Kieran shot there, uh, a wonderful score from him from all of 40 yards out and uh, it's one pint each. The upper church mentors there on the sideline and Golden on the far side, Jim Forty is here as well and we certainly wish his son David and Jim a wonderful day today as the, uh, David gets married, that's why the game is on at 12 o'clock today, David is getting married to Magella down there in Killin All and the reception is in Kilkenny so Jim will have tucks of drink there in before uh, uh, he hits Kilkenny there tonight but uh, there's a bit of stalemate here the, uh, around the corner forward line and the uh, sideline on the far side, the sideline is still for Golden Kilfetal so we're getting it all in here this ball is to be taken by Josh Keane uh, this says the next this is the next this is the next Rory McElroy, uh, without the girlfriend of course. Uh, this fella could or is it a free beyond? No, it's a sideline. He takes it a beautiful cut. An absolute gem of a cut and it just goes to the right of the post and wide. Uh, Hard look there on young Liam Nagel, wasn't able to keep it in play, but uh, uh, Liam is going to the Abbey CBS there in Tipperary Town uh, and has went there for a, a few years and uh, Josh Keane is part of the Cashel community set up there and I suppose many of the Golden players uh, are going to the Abbey or Cashel CBS, the, the, uh, the Upper Church guys go to Tullus CBS, the home of the Hearty Cup there in the CBS and also Templemore CBS they're involved with as well. Uh, they're fairly physically as well, uh, upper church there, and a good clearance in there from uh, PJ Buck. Lands it inside around the half back line again. They'll so still make their goal and are certainly bottling them up well. And as a result, uh, this man goes loose again and sends the ball into the square. Oh, and this is danger for Golden, absolute danger for Golden. No, a tremendous save again by Christopher Ryan, who saved him in a county semi final as well. A shot that's low, that's having a tremendous save again by Christopher Ryan. This man certainly got him into a county final with his great save in the 15th minute there. And a great, in the county semi final, a great uh, ball back in again by Aylby O'Donoghue across to the far side. But Stephen Ryan has it. Stephen is young for he's young enough again next year. Golden at 11 enough enough for next year again. A great ball by Stephen Ryan. It's high and it's long and it comes down on the 21 yard line there. And young JJ Burns misses it as well. A fine full forward as well. The full back there clears it out there as well. Is that Sean Harty or Joe Fogg the out around half back line? And very well caught again by the by Aylby O'Donnell who's having a storm at the moment. He hooshes it up the field and again uh, Jim Connell or um, Aidan O'Connell is under that ball. But going through the heart of the Golden defence number. A free there, maybe uh, a soft enough free, but uh, Shane O'Connell uh, committed the foul and it's a free to uh, uh, Upper Church drum band, approximately 47, maybe 50 metres out from the Golden Goal and Christopher Ryan is inside in the Golden Goal looking anxiously. The scoreboard says after seven or eight minutes, maybe the, the Church one pint, Golden one pint, he bends, lifts and strikes and with unerring accuracy she stays straight into the space between the posts for the second score of the game for the Church there. A wonderful score there from 50 yards out. We'd have to go for a smoke as well while there's a lull in place. It's very important that we keep the government in uh, tax and things like that. And the ball is poked out again by Christopher Ryan. It's a long ball. It comes down maybe 30 or 40 yards from the church goal. It's run onto beautifully there by Josh Keane. He pretends to go left, go right. And he sends a great ball. What a magnificent ball across. And it, a tremendous score there from number eight for Gordon Kilfeekle. That's James O'Connell, the captain there. A tremendous score from him. And he's and Sean Hayes are two fine players there centre of the field. And after maybe nine or ten minutes, it's two pints each here going to church two and golden two golden of a slight breeze the ball is poked out again by dear mcgrant the church goalie it comes down around center of the field golden kill there are bunching up as well but the ball comes back to the to the upper church center back and he clears it long that's john ryan a long number six man long ball up into the full full the upper church full forward line but he's uh, caught there magnificently by alan wade pushed out the way possibly it could have been a free no the referee let's play go 
man is that, that's good for the game of hurling because it's certainly a, a manly game and it's uh, driven out again by the golden goalie Christo Ryan out around centre of the field Number eight there for Golden is uh, James O'Connell, captain. Uh, judged had been fouled there by the number 11, uh, Aylby O'Donoghue, and a free here dead straight in front of us from approximately maybe 70, 70 odd yards out, five yards into the touchline, and the field to free is to be taken by one Josh Keane, the other one in All Ireland uh, minor medal there with Tipperary this year. An eerie silence descends upon this famous park in the rag he bends, lifts and strikes. And it's just to the left of the post and wide. He hadn't the radar system working that time. He'll have to get the sat nav again for the next free. Uh, he wasn't in, in great form uh, for the first 10 or 15 minutes there against Gina Rinke in the county semi final. But after that, he certainly struck form. And the ball is poked out again by young uh, Dermot Grant, the church goalie. It's a long ball come down on central field. A grand clash of the ash there. And good hurl is here uh, down in the right from both teams. Golden are bottling them up well there on central field. Stephen Ryan is in there along with uh, young Sean Hayes on the far side. And the ball goes out on the far side and it looks to be a sideline for the church there and the black and amber jerseys from almost the, the halfway line as my bloody mobile rings I'll just have to see maybe it's a tip for a horse we could do with that as well we'll just knock him off uh, the ball is uh, a good <laughs> good sideline cut uh, it wasn't that important I hate getting, getting tips for horses uh, especially early in the day on Saturday morning we'd be an afternoon men for having a gamble and Sean he is there, a great ball from him across the field and Liam Nagel runs out to the ball, doesn't come up too kindly for him, he hooshes it out well to Josh Keane, almost 40 yards out and a tremendous shot from Josh Keane and what a score there for Golden Kilfeekle. Golden Kilfeekle now lead on the score, three points to two. Three points to two after about maybe 10 or 12 minutes here in the Rags beautifully laid out grounds and uh, wonderful score from him, well got out there by young Nagel, hoosted out there to uh, uh, Josh Keenan with unerring accuracy, a great score. Out around the centre of the field again, number 10 for the church, goes to uh, pull on the ball there but he's hooked there by the Golden Lads. That's Paul Shanahan, a stalemate around the centre of the field. The referee getting the way he doesn't demand from Nock Shigauna, who's on two euro mile, they tell me to come down here today. I said to him, you're on two euro mile. He said, I don't know what a man is, but with golden plane, he says, I'm sure he said, I'll be getting plenty of abuse anyway. What about getting paid for mileage? What a, a shot across the goal that it just goes to the left of the post and wide. And again, Christopher Ryan, the golden goalie. Did the referee hear me? What's he holding up there? I better answer this bloody phone. It could be a tip for us. Well, I'm on the video. Yeah. Right or right? What price is he? Ninety-two. Right or we'll have a few bob on him. All right, right or right, right, right. They're ringing all over here with tips for horses as well, but the one tip we would be interested in is if Golden Kilfeek were lucky enough to win today. The score is three points to two. Wonderful scores there by uh, young Josh Keane, uh, there who came back from England there a few years ago and certainly took up the game of hurling with Golden Kilfeek and has been a huge inspiration to the lads. A classy hurler he is, but young Nagel is a great trier in the corner and Thomas Burton's can create huge problems there for it, uh, uh, the full back. Thomas Burton is about six foot two or six foot three, but I've no doubt the church uh, are certainly well lined up as well with Jeff Fogarty, uh, Sean Harty and Eugene Burke to uh, 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 look after their goalie as well down there, young Grant. The ball is going to be poked out again by Christopher Ryan. This fellow, as I said, can drive the ball 65, 70 yards there. Well caught there by number eight, that's James O'Connell, the captain, and a great ball across to the far side. Barlow runs over to it as well. And a free young Barlow well won because the uh, upper church man was a pull to be, uh, was a judge to be pulling a small bit late. And I've no doubt that Josh Keane will send this one over the bar. Paddy Powers would be betting 33 to 1 on. This, if this doesn't go over, lads, I'll have to have a serious look at myself. <laughs> Tomorrow, of course, we wish the best of luck to Clenalty Ross Moore to take on the, the bends, lifts and strikes. And again, Golden Kilfeek will now lead by four pints to two. But the breeze is certainly worth uh, four or five pints. But Golden are uh, digging in well done, holding on well, as I said, a lucky pitch for them. And uh, the pitch is in magnificent order. They're well lined and all of that, which you'd expect for a county B final. I met him and Buckley coming in and looking forward to the fine crowd now on the far side in the stand. Uh, again, Stephen Ryan was going to come to that ball, but it comes there to the upper church man. Sends in a lovely ball into the corner, very 
very well uh, managed there by Kevin Maloney at full back, but Kevin was a judge to have fouled his man, and as a result, it's a free for the church. They are about maybe 35, 37 yards out from the golden goal, and the, the free is to be taken by Paul Ryan, their captain, Danny, the number 14 jersey with the black helmet and the socks well down around the ankles. He bends, lifts, and strikes, and to these guys, Years ago when we were playing hauling ourselves, mother of God above night, we'd have to take maybe five minutes to adjust ourselves and pull up the tugs and everything else. But it's nothing to these guys at the moment. They can uh, send the ball over the bar there with their eyes closed. It's four points to three. The man is just uh, uh, adjusting his scoreboard there, sponsored by Young's of the Rag there, which is halfway between Boris and Lee and Nina, a well-known local hostelry as well. Golden up for that ball. It doesn't come up there for uh, Jim Connell and it doesn't come up for uh, uh, Sean Ryan Shiner, but uh, he'll be coming into the game. He normally, he normally comes very well into the game. Very well caught there by uh, number two, Matthew Ryan. And Matthew, uh, the ball comes off, he's sticking out over the sideline here in front of us. And it's a uh, sideline for the church to be taken by their number 11 man, Aylby O'Donoghue, who's certainly all over the place. It's not been taken by him, it's been taken uh, by their by their man number 14, Paul Ryan, the captain. A grand smashing cut by him into the corner. Golden seemed to have a well covered over the corner back in that, but the corner forward comes out for the ball, and a great ball across. This could spell goal, danger for Golden Kilfeefe. What a score, a smashing touch of the ball there, uh, right across into the centre, and a wonderful score there. Uh, it all came from the man in the corner there, I think it was PJ Burke or Sam Burke, uh, one of the Burks, and straight did straight across, and a wonderful score there, and the, score, and the scores are level, four points, it's all, all to play here, here for in the church, in the rag, between the church and Golden in a county on the 21B hurling final, all to play for. Golden would certainly be delighted with the performance, because as I said, the church were firm favourites, uh, after be beating Tullus Selfies in a mid-final and then beating Kildangan in a county, a county semi-final. They certainly came through the rough end of the of the stick. But uh, the Golden Lads will dog it in. There's plenty of toughness down around the parish of Golden Kilfeekle and Jim Pogge has instilled a lot of heart and commitment into him and all of that. This man was fouled and a tremendous uh, uh, bit of work there by the Golden Man and it's a free again from Josh Keane. I suppose uh, maybe 50 yards out, 55 yards out. Sean Hayes there, who had a wonderful game in the semi-final. A lot of people were saying he was man of the match there against Gina Rinky. I thought myself Sean Ryan Shiner, but everybody was uh, to their opinions. Uh, Josh Keane bends, lifts and strikes. And a beautiful stroke, he has it a ball. And with unerring accuracy, again, into the space between the posts. And a score for Golden Kilfeekle, uh, who lead on the score of five points to four. Uh, the likes of John Corvin in Golden uh, would be absolutely delighted, has been the mainstay of Golden Club for a long number of years. But the manager of the church team is John Burke, his selectors are Michael Green, Padraig Hayes and Owen Short. This is great work there from number nine, uh, number nine for Golden, Sean Hayes is doing a power of work again. Certainly looked to be a high tackle, but the referee waves play on. Uh, comes across the young Barlow, does it very, very well and could he score from play? Don't catch it again if you do, we're shagged. What a score there from young Barlow, came from right across the goalpost there, that young fellow is only 16 or 17 years of age and certainly took his score well, uh, there, uh, the son of James Barlow is there and the mother is one of the fog, he's there in Kilfeekle and I want, uh, they're the undertaking business and this man won't let you down anyway, what about the father letting you down, he won't let you down anyway, that's one thing sure and certain, a great score from him and a great ball across here again, uh, certainly the rag are playing the wings but look, Good work there from, Gold, from Golden Kilfeekle backs. They haven't covered up fairly well. Two hands on the hurling leader, pulling for the ball. And the referee judges again that number three, Kevin Maloney. I... The free again is to be taken about maybe the guts of 50 yards out, to be taken by the full forward there, uh, the captain of the team, one Paul Ryan, the captain. I suppose uh, about 15 yards into the touchline, it's slightly the left of the post, he bends, lifts and strikes, and again, what a wonderful uh, strike of the ball. So it's uh, six points to five in favour of Golden Kilfeekle, and uh, we're probably gone about maybe 20 odd minutes here in the first half in the rag. The ball is going to be poked out again by Christopher Ryan, the Golden goalie. 
There's a tremendous puck. Landing it below and almost on, on the between the half back line and the full back line. And again, young Barlow, who's causing a lot of havoc in there uh, for goal for the upper church defence. As I said, he's a very young fella, but uh, he's certainly causing problems there for the uh, cornerbacks of uh, upper church uh, drum band. As I said, uh, Southfields and Canolty play tomorrow there in the county on the 21A final. That match is in Borlehan sometime probably around one o'clock or half past one. And we would like to wish the Canolty the best look. They are the West Tipperary representatives. The ball comes across there to the white helmet. And, uh, young Hayes, I think, has sent it across. And Liam Nagel goes for that ball. He should be sending this one over the bear. A tremendous score there no, from Liam Nagel. Well done uh, to Liam Nagel from Thomas Town in goal. Now Ratcliffe Gold and he is uh, certainly came out in front and uh, got that ball left-handed like Pat Fox used to do years and years ago for Anacarty, uh, Denohill, uh, Eirog uh, and also for Tipperary afterwards. But uh, that was a tremendous score from him. The ball is poked out again. Very well caught there by the... By the uh, Paul Shanahan there, the big man there from Upper Church, Strumbane, and a great ball in it. Certainly the South uh, the Church are playing a, a lot of criss-cross ball and uh, would have gone in the criss-cross, uh, would have trouble in the criss-cross ball. Golden of this fellow, well hounded, but the Church are always looking for their man. Always looking for the man, but Golden are well on top of them there and have it well policed and well fighting back there as well. And a tremendous clearance again from Josh Keane, who's holding all over the place. The upper church uh, centre-back, John Mine, looked at that ball under control. The referee waves play on. And this is good Hardy holding there for the last week in December, uh, on December the 28th or 9th, here in the rag. And a great clearance again from the south, from the upper church, drives it long and hard. But Liam Nagel's out in front of his man again, but the full-back there from uh, the church is Sean Hafty. And he clears the ball well out, and it's again got rid of by Aileby Dunhoe up along to the far side. Sh uh, Sean Ryan, or young Stephen Ryan, has the ball and he makes great ground and a great ball into the forwards. Thomas Borden comes out with misses, but Liam Nagel is inside on his own. Could Nagel get a score? He rounds his man in a shot that's low, that's hard, and a great save by the young Grant in the goal for the, uh, the upper shot. Maybe young Nagel might have been better off to put it over the bear. A score, a pint was uh, there for the taking, but I suppose if the goal had come to have been magnificent, but. Uh, he rounded his man well and has come into the game now in big time there at uh, corner forward there for Golden Kilfiekel. Uh, Eugene Buck, Sean Hafty and Jeff Fogarty on the full back line there for the church and they have their hands full there on the Golden full forward line. Again, Sean Hayes goes down over that ball on the far side. He does a power of work there. That's and Josh Keane is there as well trying to rise the ball. The referee says that the church tried to rise the ball uh, with the hand off the ground and uh, Golden Kilfiekel lead by seven points to five and Josh Keane will take this free. Uh, approximately uh, maybe 65 odd yards out and about 10 yards in from the far touch line with the sun shining in on the lads there on the stand and a fine crowd in the stand here in the rag. Young Keane with the green helmet bends, lifts and strikes. It's a dangerous ball. Can Thomas Borden catch it inside? No, Nagel goes down on the ball again. And a tremendous score from young Nagel. A tremendous score there. They certainly have the church in a small bit of trouble there. Uh, there on, the, on the, 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 the back line. Number two there for the uh, church is Joe Fogart. Under a small bit of uh, pressure there from Joe Nagel, who's up scoring a couple of fine points for Golden Kilfiekel. The ball is very well caught there by the number 10 man. That's Paul Shanahan. A wonderful catch from him from the puck out uh, there. And it's a, uh, another free there to the church, uh, approximately on the halfway line. And it'll be taken by their captain, Paul Ryan, the captain of the church. It's a dangerous ball into the square, very well managed here by the golden fullback Kevin Maloney. Comes out there as far as the half back line. Golden are well in there, they'll clear that, they'll clear that ball, but it's a tremendous score there from the, the green helmeted uh, man from the upper church. I'll just get his number in a minute. It's possibly uh, Kieran Short or Paul Shannon, they're one of those guys. Um, yeah, a wonderful score from him, and it's uh, eight points to six in favour of Golden Kilfiekel. And the ball is poked out again by Crystal Ryan. It's a long ball, comes down around the half back, half forward line. Uh, there, Josh Keane has it going through the heart of the, the upper church defence. Josh Keane caught it three times. Have a look on Josh there. He'd been better off, as suppose, to let the ball in when the forwards are on, are on for him. Uh, there, let the ball go.
The upper church guys are calling for this ball to be driven long and hard there and landed in on top of young Shanahan again, who certainly has a great catch. Golden Kilfeekle are certainly winning the closer battles. Jim Connell there, the captain, and a good pull there by young uh, number five for Golden Kilfeekle, Shane O'Connell. But the stalemate there around uh, the half back, half forward line. Somebody pull on the bloody ball anyway, lads. Get it out of there. Come on, Golden, lads. What a shot and what a score there. Probably the score of the match from the number eight is it's James Armstrong. I think that got that. Uh, 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 pint. A wonderful score, but Golden would be disappointed themselves. They should have actually cleared that bloody ball, but they didn't. And the score now is eight points to seven. We can't be too far off of half time here in the rag, uh, with Golden leading eight points to seven. Jim Fogarty, the Golden man in charge, has certainly given, given them plenty of heart and commitment, and he's telling the Golden lads there that that ball should have been cleared out. There was no question about it at all the time in the world. But. Uh, they're probably winning the close in contest there, man for man, and maybe when there's four or five of them surrounding each other on that, but uh, the, the church would be looking for a bit of open hole, and I'd say the Golden Lads won't give them, won't give them uh, that leeway anywhere, uh, too much space around. Number 10 for the church there uh, is uh, Paul Shanahan, and uh, he's gone into the centre forward uh, on young uh, Aidan O'Connell, the captain. The ball is going to be poked out again by Christopher Ryan. He certainly gets tremendous uh, value as well. The stalemate there around the centre of the field. The referee is going to throw in the ball, which was the first throw in of the day, and I suppose under the conditions uh, uh, there, uh, it's a great sign of holding to say that after maybe 25 or 26 minutes that we've only had a, a, a good... That's a great ball across to the far side, but it's well cut out there by the upper shot man with the red helmet. Uh, number 11 there, who is A.L.B. O'Donoghue. And again, Jim Connell goes to clear that ball. That's good hauling there from Golden Tin Feet. The number eight there is uh, James O'Connell, the captain, going through the heart of the upper church defence. And a great ball in. If Thomas Burke, Thomas Burns can get his hand on one ball, he's dead right. Again, Liam Nagel has it. Pretends to go left and go right and throws into Thomas O'Donoghue. Thomas Burns. Thomas Burns going through. And a great shot from Thomas Burns. But he's on the right hand side. And he well policed there by the church lads. But Thomas Burns certainly uh, coming into his own there. Coming up to half time. A wonderful score from Thomas Burns. And Golden Kin there, uh, lead by nine points to seven. Uh, can't be too far off half time. And it looks as if uh, Sean Hayes is down there, is it around centre of the field? Jim Fortis, the man, uh, man, manager there with the man with the cap down in front of us here on the sideline, he's certainly under a small bit of pressure. Might be the young fella getting married or is it with Colton only leading by, by two pints, I don't know. Uh, uh, Jim will have it. PJ Collins is the chairman of the club as well and a good chairman he is down there in Golden Kilfeekle. But uh, the church have a, a wonderful setup there as well. I don't remember playing against the church maybe in, uh, for a long time myself. Uh, we possibly were intermediate for a few years, and then we went senior, and I suppose the church had, were probably in the same boat as the senior and intermediate, but they got a great tune out of them there a couple of years ago. I think they got into a county quarter-final there in senior hurling, and also into a mid-semi-final. I was at the final with TJ Connolly in charge of them. They have a great hurling tradition up there as well in the church. And I know talking to their mentors beforehand, having they were down at the Golden Kilfeekle Skinner Inky game, and they certainly fancied themselves to uh, uh, win, but Jim Fogarty had done an awful lot of work there in the last few weeks. This man, number 10, uh, is certainly catching an awful lot of ball. That's young Paul Shanahan, catching a lot of ball for Golden Kilfeekle. Stephen Ryan will have to drive this ball, and he does. He doesn't throw the ball. He gets a great ball out to but Shane O'Connell, tried to hoosh it off, but didn't. Uh, uh, there was a three-way play on. Number 11 clears that ball. He'll be done back into the corner again. But a very well covered by Alan Wade. He should be able to drive this ball out of there. He's running easy as a kid to hope and could be caught on the far side. Under a small bit of pressure there, the church get a great ball back in, but there's nobody there. Sam, you're looking at a lonely, lonely man. Sam didn't get in there that time. Sam Burke and a, a great clearance there from the Crystal Ryan, the golden goalie. But the goal 
goal in Kilfiegel their number eight uh, I think it was uh, James O'Connell the captain showed a small bit of too much commitment there to the cause and as a result it's a free back in from the for the upper church maybe 75 or 80 yards from the golden goal the ball is well struck there by Seamus Armstrong possibly related there uh, free in again for a small bit of push not holding there the, uh, the referee is certainly a man who has lots of things uh, caught they're telling, they're telling the golden lads line the goal, but I've, I've no doubt that the, the upper church would be delighted to be going in maybe at half time, uh, a pint or so behind. But the uh, free is to be taken there, dead straight in front of the golden goal. The free is to be taken by uh, Padre Green, I think it is. About 21 or 2 yards out, dead straight in front of the post. I would think that he will go for the. Well. He got the point. Golden could have saved him and it could have been on top of the net as well. The score now is nine points to eight. And I'm just looking here at the uh, mobile phone to, for a bit of time to see what's gone. There's, a, there's possibly about three or four minutes left here in the first half. Again, Christopher Ryan, the golden goalie, pucks out that ball. A long one to the far side under the stand beyond there. The sun has gone in here in the rag. And a harsh uh, bit of a tackle there on young Barlow, but he's plenty of tall and plenty of high enough and well able to take it. The referee will probably throw in this ball eventually. It's a sideline to Upper Church there on the far side and a huge roar goes up from the stand there. Whether they're shouting at the referee or shouting at the church or shouting at Golden, they're certainly shouting at something over there anyway. A great ball into open space again there. A free to Golden there. Uh, Stephen Ryan was a, or not Stephen, uh, young Bella was a judge that had been fouled there on the uh, half back line. Josh goes out to take this free, I'd say. He's certainly uh, the guts of 80 yards out from the upper church goal. And this fella has a great strike on the ball. He could, with ease, send it over the bear. Bend lifts and strikes, gives it plenty of air, and he's all the way, I think. Yes, the umpire goes for the white flag, and a tremendous score there from Josh Keane. Uh, all of 80 yards out to put Golden back into a two point lead again, uh, maybe a minute or two from half time. The ball is going to be poked out there by Dear McGrant, the, go the upper church goal lead, and so comes out on centre of the field. The, the referee doesn't see any bit of pushing there, only plenty of. Good Holland as well. Number 12 goes back for Golden Kilfiegel. That's uh, Sean Ryan China goes back to try to win a bit of the ball at centre of the field. Again, it's caught there and a great ball in by Cricky Ryan, but it's caught out there by the cornerback. This time he's got the measure of his man. He gets the ball out and Upper Church are certainly uh, playing nice kind of holding. Here the 14 man is uh, Paul Ryan, the captain. Bends, lifts and drives a great ball into the square. Can he keep it in play up there? He certainly can. He brings his uh, full backman out for a small bit of uh, country tour. Gets a great ball across, but number 14 again, Paul Ryan runs onto that ball. He's hooshed off it again. Stephen Ryan is in there as well. They're all in there from Golden Kilfiegel. Stephen, let fly on the bloody ball, will you? The stalemate round here. I, the church have it. Your man tries to barge his way through. The referee waves, still waves play on open arms. He's like an airplane below in Shannon Airport, ready to take off. But that's a good... Uh, uh, Clear and stare by uh, is it Sean Hayes from uh, Mountain and Golden. And Lee Nagel pulls on that ball well, knocks the ball out of the upper church corner, back hand, Eugene Bork with the referee award for free. They're, they're in there, Jim Barlow and them, but the linesman is in fairly, fairly rapid. It's been a, 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 a very clean game so far. Uh, 10 points to 8, and the free is to be taken by the number 6 of the John Ryan J. They drives that ball up towards the Golden 21 yard line. Gordon tried to crowd young Shanahan out of it. Scrammy is in there as well, and Shane O'Connell comes out with that ball. Oh, it's number five, yes, Shane O'Connell comes out with that ball. The son of Michael there in Claire Barbary, there in Clahalee Golden. And there's a great clearance there from the centre back as Golden certainly tried to crowd him out there. Number 11 for Golden is Christopher Ryan, and uh, number 12 is Sean Ryan Shiner. Uh, they're certainly on the. On, 
the chairs now upper church goes in around the square up they go and down they come but Kevin Maloney there gets it out well along with Jim Connell there comes out there nurses his way out there the captain or Aidan O'Connell it is and uh, slivers to the ground but the church get the ball back in again they're into the corner and again Alan Wade runs onto that ball he should be driving that ball he does up along the far side and a great claim from him Chrissy Ryan runs onto it as well there's a collision there but a three ways play on does he no I'd say the church would be under a small bit of pressure at the moment because they were kind of expecting to to be in front coming up to half time, uh, having seen Golden Kilfeekle against Skeena Rinky, but Golden with Shawnee Hallard and Kevin Maloney and the great Jim Fogarty in charge of them certainly have improved an awful lot from the Skeena Rinky game. So it's amazing what, uh, when you keep a hole in your hand two or three times a week, the way you can improve with a bit of heart and commitment, the referee is going to throw in the ball in the first side of the after that bit of a collision. The referee is going to throw in the ball there beyond between uh, Sean Ryan Shiners over there. He doesn't, he wants a free to Golden Kilfeekle, I think. No, it's half time here in the rag. And the score, looking at the score post down here on my left, is Golden Kilfeekle, uh, 10 points. Uh, the church, upper church drum band, 8. And it's all to play for here in the second half in drum in uh, the rag's fine pitch. And uh, I'm going for a supper, Lucas, aid now because my bloody throat has passed from cigarettes and, of course, telling lies and telling the truth and things like that. So we'll see you at the start of the second half, please, God, as both teams uh, adjourn to the dressing rooms. And we hope to resume, please, God, in about five minutes' time. So we'll be in touch with you all then, please, God. Well. The second half is the second half is on here, and it's a free in there. Young Murray, I think, who, who's after coming on there for Sam Burke, uh, gets the free a minute into the second half here in the rag, and it's a free to be taken approximately on the 21-yard line, uh, about 15 yards into the touch line. He certainly will, should put this over to make it uh, 10 points to 9 in favour of Golden Kilfeekel. Bends, lifts and strikes and a great score there to make it 10 points to 9. I was talking to a few of the upper church lads there at half time. They're hoping to get the cup back to the, either one of the three pubs there. You have Murray's Canans or the great Oliver Ryan up there around upper church drum band. But Golden Kilfeet will be looking for two. He's in the cornerstone there with Brian Fogarty in charge in the bridge house of course with Shawnee and outside and Trevor's in Sarones as well. Church have certainly started a small bit better. Goal, uh, they tell me that the church are a great second half team. I don't know. But I was talking to the great Packy Whelan. He's the count of Corridor up there in upper church. And uh, Packy would be a blue shot through and through and I says how can this country go well when you took the bloody donkey out of the crib beyond in Rome I said you have no you have no powers after that so the great Packy, Packy Whelan says that um, that with fine gale in power this country will certainly uh, uh, go places I said Jesus will you leave it alone will you the ball is uh, a great sideline cut there again Golden are in around the house but the ball comes to Chrissy Ryan and a great layoff from him across to Sean Hayes and very well called by Sean Hayes and in total Liam Nagel who is causing a small bit of consternation in the church defence this man did he take steps I don't know he drives that ball long and hard and the referee lets play go on and he comes back around corner back corner forward there Liam uh, uh, young Alan Wade here and Stephen Ryan are in around the house there with Paul Shen and Kieran Shock as well and the referee says it's a free for Golden Kilfeekle. To be taken by Christopher Ryan. Runs out about 45 yards from the, his own goal. The score is 10 points to 9. Approximately two minutes gone here in the second half in the rag. Christopher places the ball there. 
And he could land it inside in the square, the golden goal, you son of matches down there around Belly McCady in golden. Bends, lifts and strikes and drives a great ball in around the house. Up they go, down they come and Thomas Bordens puts up the Lavine, but it doesn't call, fall kindly into his hand. And it's a free out there, but the job uh, Eugene Burke or Jeff Fogarty went to ground and the free is going to be taken by the full back down there for the church, uh, Sean Harty. Places the ball there uh, on the... 14 yard line, he'll certainly drive this ball long and hard and it drops around centre of the field there, they run across for a day, that's uh, Shane O'Connell with uh, Kieran Short or Paul Shannon on the far side and the ball comes in around Golden Man, who the man off the ball, that's uh, the Golden Corner back there but the referee says Golden Man went in to do him. You'll have to go, watch, go back and watch this on the, on the cameras tonight inside in the pubs in Golden. Or above in Murray's there in uh, Canaan's or Oliver Ryan's will be watching this tonight and if you want to get any, any more videos Tom Ryan is your man there he, if you want to send a video to long lost friends out in Australia where many of our youngsters are gone and also Canada and America you can certainly order a video they'd love to see the church against Golden that's a tremendous shot that's high that's good and the, it's not a pint it's not a bloody pint I have a couple of upper church lads, they should have been in the concrete business in London there with the spirit level and the whole lot, they were able to call it from here and uh, the umpire below I thought uh, he was lucky that he had a very uh, agile back that he was able to bend down and look up at the same time and to say that the ball went to the left of the post and wide, Golden are a judge to have foul there around centre of the field, Josh Keen and it's a free for the church, approximately maybe 75, 80 yards from the Golden or free to the church there. It's a long way out, 75 to 80 yards from the golden goal. Bends, lifts and strikes and it goes to the right of the post in my book from where I am standing here on the pitch in the rag. It goes to the right of the post and wide and it's all the church here in the, in the start of the second half. Golden haven't settled down whatsoever. The ball is to be poked out there by Christopher Ryan, the golden goal. It's a good ball out around centre of the field. Sean Hayes has gone up along with Sean Ryan Shiner and uh, Cricky Ryan has gone into it as well, a very tough young fella from Bally McCady, nutting to the goalie. Uh, uh, young O'Connell tries to get the ball up with Sean Hayes, they're all there, they're stalemate around the middle of the field. Golden runs onto it, Stephen Ryan wins that ball, he doesn't, he plays it on the ground. But the churchman is still moving it on, but Stephen Ryan is in there as well, hand on the back, no. The referee West play on, he boots it further and again it's hooshed away by young O'Connell there, the centre back for Golden, Kilfeek Laden O'Connell, a sturdy young fella, his father Jim was certainly a, a power of strength in the Golden teams back maybe 25 or 30 years ago. It's hooshed off, but the ball is stalemate again, Alan Wade comes out with that ball, and with his kid hook, he drives it up along the far side, it's caught here in front of us, and Stephen Ryan, well done Stephen, a great ball from him, in around the house, up they go and down they come, and a great catch again by the church, the church are trying to get the ball away, Golden are trying to get it in and the church trying to get it out, JJ uh, Th Thomas Borden's goal fouled because the referee said that he tried to, uh, would one say bulldoze his way through the heart of the church defence but they certainly stood up well to him young Hearty there and uh, Eugene Buck as well also stood very well up to the Golden onslaught there and it's a free for the church to be taken about maybe 30 yards out from their own goal and with a slight, very slight breeze but they're probably playing into the scoring end here in the right he bends, lifts and strikes and drives a great ball down around the golden half-back, the church half-forward line, it's hopped up the top of the fingers but the church run across for it again. Party has the ball. Ball is well blocked down by Golden Kilfeek and again the golden centre-back is it there, comes out with that ball, that's uh, young O'Connell there. Lays off the ball to Stephen Ryan and a great uh, uh, shot there by Stephen Ryan and well caught there by uh, Cricky Ryan, the centre-forward there, Cricky. Ball is well blocked down there, and number eight for the church, that's uh, young Armstrong as well, trying to get through the half of the golden defence. He turns to his back there and drives a great ball into the half forward line, and the churchman has a this des is uh, PJ Burke, the, but nobody in around the house, not within 40 yards of the golden goal. Church would need, if they want to win, they'd need to keep a lead or two inside around the, the square there in case an odd ball would go in. And it's well clicked, well hit again by Eugene, but half blocked down there on the far side. The Church are certainly playing far better here in the second half and a great ball in. They tell me they have a second half team. The ball doesn't come up too kindly. Now I was walked the pitch there earlier on today and the grass is certainly at a smashing level. This fellow's going through the heart of the golden defence. Is he... And again a great save by Christopher Ryan who kept golden in it all through. Uh, 
as PJ Burke and them are trying to get a score for the church, but it's very well caught by Sean Ryan China. This fellow had a great game in the semi-final, has been well policed today by the upper church man, but uh, goes to ground, and again it's young Barlow in there as well. He's well bottled up there. It's a free for goal in Kilfiekel because there, there have been uh, young Barlow's a judge to have been fouled there, and it's a free for goal in Kilfiekel to be under 21 in about 15 years from the touchline. And the free is again to be taken by Josh Keane. As I said, they're part of a Tipperary minor winning team this year in the All-Ireland final. Young enough again next year. A smashing striker of a ball. And I be dis disappointed and surprised if we didn't put this one uh, dead straight over the bar. And after approximately maybe six or seven minutes here in the rag, it's Golden Kilfiekel, ten points to Church, nine. And uh, Josh Keane to take the free. Bends, lifts and strikes with unerring accuracy and another fine point for Golden Kilfiekel who now lead on the score of 11 points to 9 here in the rag against Upper Church Drumbane that wonderful club just up the road here maybe 7 or 8 miles uh, a club steeped in hurling traditions and all of that and they'll be watching this video tonight they'll in Noel Rhines and all them hostelries up there around the ball comes off the upper church man's hand uh, came off the number nine there for the church uh, that was Padre Green's hand that came off of him and it's a, a sideline to be taken for Gordon Kilfiegel by the one Sean Hayes from Mountain Gordon a son of uh, Pat's there and Mother Hayes from some place down around North Cox side uh, a grand sideline from him but the church gets it and very well blocked down by uh, Chrissy Ryan who certainly who is certainly a, a, a fine, sturdy, strong young fellow there at centre forward, would put his body where many a fellow wouldn't put his hurley. That's Critty Ryan, the centre forward for Golden Kilfiegel. The sideline has taken. What a wonderful sideline it is. It comes down and very well caught again by Stephen Ryan. Goes across the centre of the field. Stephen is having a wonderful game here in the second half and a great ball into young Liam Nagel. Nagel gets the ball up on his stick and he could drive this ball over. Dead straight in front of the post. What a shot from Liam Nagel. And Gordon Kilfiegel are certainly back into it again, though. 12 points to nine, uh, maybe after seven or eight minutes in the second half. Liam Nagel is, is having a wonderful game here in the county final. Uh, a son of there of Liam's and Mary Nagel there, who hails from over the borders there in Dune, Limerick side of uh, uh, the Tipperary Limerick border. Gordon Kilfiegel are harrying and blocking and doing everything that is humanly possible to stop the church from getting that, but another great ball in. Christy Ryan could catch this ball, no. A wonderful score for the church. A.L.B. Donahoe, a wonderful score from A.L.B. Donahoe, from all of maybe 45 yards out, a smashing stroke in the ball to put that ball over the bar, and Michal Amir Huftig would say, Colleen, our son, I don't have to get any name for the upper church is now, but the upper church club band got the point anyway. In the black and amber jersey there, and the ball is poked out again by, uh, by Christopher Ryan, it's a long ball, it comes out there on the stand on the far side, stalemate, and it looks to be a sideline there for upper church uh, on the halfway line here in the rag, with Gordon Kinfeek leading now by 12 points to 10, with we had a great uh, opening start to the second half from the church, but Golden Kilfiegel, Sean Hayes, gets the, tries to get that ball. Church are going through, he should be able to point this from all of maybe 40 yards out. A tremendous score again from the church. Paul Ryan gets that ball and drives it with unerring accuracy. A wonderful score from Paul Ryan. The uh, captain of the team, down to play at full forward, but out around centre of the field, and Golden now are under a small bit of pressure. 12 points to 11, I think we'll have to... Uh, Maybe make a couple of uh, changes on the field around the place, I don't know, maybe Thomas Bottoms didn't uh, get into it yet so far, could cause a bit of a problem, he was out around the half-back line, but now the ball has gone in for Thomas Bottoms in there around full forward line, he's watching the ball go wide, there's nothing he can do about a ball being sent in like that, because he was well policed there, I think it's by Sean Harty, the full-back there from uh, Upper Church Drumbane, and again, young Grant, the goalie there in the goal mouth for Upper Church Drumbane, will certainly land this ball out around maybe 75 to 80 yards. He's a great, yes, Thomas Burton is going out around centre forward now and uh, young Nag or young Cricky Riley has gone in centre forward, or in full forward, so maybe Thomas Burton has to get him back into the game. A wonderful catch there, I think it's by number 11, that is A.L.B. Donahoe, a wonderful catch by him there. And uh, also uh, Paul Shannon, they're all in around there, but uh, look at Josh Keane going through the half of the upper church defence and now about 25 yards out, the ball knocked off his stick, upper church trying to surround him but Josh gets the ball up again and tries to flick the ball over his right but it's very well caught there by the John Ryan J I think he's the centre back for upper church goes to the ground and the referee says a free out the golden men there Shawnee Holland who owns the bridge house and golden said how in the name of Christ was that a free but look Shawnee that's 
That was a free in that seat. With a, it was a free for them, Tony. The greatest certainty of all times. It was a good a certainty now as I get in a pint inside in the bridge house at 2 o'clock in the morning, which is another certainty as well. But anyway, the ball is poked out again around centre of the field. Up they go and down they come. And what a catch there by Elby O'Donoghue. Uh, the centre forward there for Upper Trust from Bain. Those wonderful hurling here in the last uh, couple of days of December uh, on conditions that are certainly good enough. He's bottled up. The referee waves play on. Hit the man son knocks you down a day and he was uh, free to go and kill Fiki. To be taken by Christy Ryan about maybe 27 or 30 yards out, and it's uh, still 12 points to 11 in favour of Golden Kilfeekle. As I said, the uh, bookmakers were going 1 to 3 to church before the match, and you could have had back Golden Kilfeekle at 6 to 4. What a wonderful sight it is here on the ride with the sun shining down upon this magnificent, well cared ground there, manicured ground by Mark McGrath, the man in charge of the pitch here in uh, the ride. The ball goes up along the far side, a, a fine. Uh, Free there by uh, Chrissy Ryan, but just gone out there on the far side as Liam Nagel and those lads tried to keep it in. But uh, the Golden supporters there are shouting and urging the team on, and the church are doing the very same thing as well. The ball is uh, sidelined there on the far side, and it's a sideline for Golden Kilfeekle on the far side to be taken by Josh Keane, a tremendous striker of a ball, possibly the equivalent of young McElroy is in golf. This fella could actually pint the ball from here, strange to say. I've seen him do it inside the pitch in Golden on numerous occasions, but as sure as there's a tail in the cat as I open my mouth, he mightn't rise it at all at all, but he should, on the law of averages, uh, at least get it into the square, if not over the bell. It's 12 pints to 11 here in uh, the rag. Comes up to take the sideline. A beautiful, dangerous cut, and well cut by young Bell, dead straight in front of the goal, but he, the ball is blocked down there, and well cleared there by the church, and well cleared by the church as well. A long ball down into the golden half-back, golden, uh, the church pulling forward like this man goes through the half of the golden defence, and a shot that's high, it's good, and it's all square here in uh, the right, 12 points each, a wonderful score there from the church man. James Murray, the, the man who came in there instead of young Sam Buck, James Murray certainly uh, got a wonderful score there. We'll see it again tonight. I'm, I hope in God that I won't have to go up to uh, any of the three pubs, or it is Murray's Canans or Oliver Ryan's there to see this match on uh, replay. It's 12 points each here, all to play for. Uh, Stale met around centre of the field, but it's got again there by the number nine for the church going through. That's Padre Green, the half of the golden defence, gone 5, 10, 15, 20 yards, throws it out. Dead straight in front of the post, a shot that's high, that's good. And the lead for Upper Church here from Bad. They now lead 13 points to 12. Paul Shanahan, what a game. He is having a great man to fetch a ball in the air. At that time, he rounded the golden backs and put it with unerring accuracy. Jim Fogel is under a small bit of pressure at the moment. Not into what the pressure we're under here, trying to figure out the men with the helmets. The ball is poked out again by Christopher Ryan. A long ball, 65, 70, maybe 75 yards. Thomas Borden puts up the hand for the ball. The referee said it's a sideline for Golden Kilpeak on the far side. And Josh Keane will certainly go over to take this ball because we need it going in around the house. Maybe Christy Ryan could cause consternation inside in the goal mount. I don't know, can he or can't he, but hopefully he will be able to cause consternation the same as uh, the opposition are trying to cause Fine Gale above in power in Dahl Aden for the great Perky Wheel and the count of whatever it was. The count of... What, what's the name of the bloody place again? The count of Korodov. Where grants are coming in three times a month, he said, because the greatest government he ever had in power. It's a free for Gordon Kinfeek Lab. I was talking about the Count of Corridor. Gordon got a free dead straight in front of the post and could be taken by our friend Josh Keane, the man who has got maybe seven or eight points today. That's, that's Liam Maloney. Liam, how many has he got today? Seven or eight, Johnny. Seven or eight. Which is it? This is the eighth one. Bends, lifts and strikes and like Jimmy Dial of your and the blue and gold jersey of Tipperary. What a wonderful score there from Josh Keane. And the sides are 11, 13 points each. I have a funny feeling that this game could eventually uh, end up in stalemate. I've got a floodlight system here in, drum, in, uh, here in uh, the rag. I don't know. Sean Shine, Ryan Shiner tried to block down that ball, but the upper trust man comes out to the ball for about five or six yards in front of the golden corner back. He's going through a shot that's high and it's off the stick of the post as the golden man, Macho Ryan, was following him there, but he had no chance because once he hit it, it was dead straight over the post and a great score for upper trust deal. James Murray again. This man came on as a sub. Super sub, James Murray. 
people are asking how is it he wasn't on from the start, I don't know, but he's after causing a small bit of a problem there for Golden Kilpeagle since he came in as a sub at half time. The ball is poked out again by Christopher Ryan. It's out maybe 65, 70 yards on the far side and it goes into the touch on the far sideline. And now the church lead, 14 points to 13. And about maybe 10 or 12 minutes gone here in the second half in the rag in the county on the 21B final. The sideline is taken there for the church, goes in beyond again on the far side. Golden are out there as well. Can they keep the ball in play? They can. Hand passes the ball, but Golden are well there to cut it out. Stephen Ryan. It's probably free out, yes, I just thought that he might have played the man rather than the ball. Jim Fogarty he looks under a small bit of pressure at the moment here. Uh, heads are down there, but I don't think the heads are down too much because there's absolutely nothing in it. A pint in it at the moment in favour of the church, 14 pints to 13. The free is to be taken by Christopher Ryan, the man from Valley McCady. Jesus, I can't get the fucking lighter going. Uh, <laughs> And a great uh, clearance there by the upper trust man, the centre back John Ryan up along the far side. What a layoff this is going through the heart of the goal in the fence. And if that's over, tis of the score in the game. The Smother of Christ the book tonight. Who about that? Paul Ryan, what a score that's here in the rag. Uh, uh, to put the church now two points ahead and approximately maybe 12 or 13 minutes gone. Golden Kilpeak under a small bit of pressure at the moment. The ball is popped out again by Christopher Ryan. They're certainly good in the open spaces and trying to create the open spaces. Golden tried to cut, uh, keep the, the open spaces uh, confined if that is possible. They try to uh, harass and everything else and probably get three or four back around the ball. Well, the church like to play it loose because they have plenty of hollows with tremendous skill. Golden are blocked. Was he shoulder tackled, etc.? I don't know. Again, you'll see it on the video and you'll make up your own mind. But the referee, the man from Noxigown, John Cleary, has his mind made up and he certainly is doing a good game at the moment. Anybody, any either side couldn't fault him because he's trying to let it go and things like that. And it's a free to be taken 72 metres out from the upper church goal by one Josh Keane beyond on the first sideline. Bends, lifts, and could actually send it dead straight over the post. I see the goalie looking up, it's all the way, and what a score there from Josh Keane. 15 points to 14 in favour of the church, they lead by a pint. The ball has been fucked out by one young Grant, the upper church goalie. Dear McGrant, it's a long ball down on the half back, half forward line. What a catch again by number 10, Paul Shanahan. Lays in a great ball in around the golden house that could be stalemate. I don't know. Kevin Maloney, the pull back is there. Should have got rid of it. How in the name of God did he drive that wide? But the golden fullback should certainly have driven that out to the sideline. Get it away from the Hell's Kitchen down there. Golden of a player or two injured down there. I think Alan Wade is down, Kevin Maloney is down, and, and uh, the number two man is Matthew Ryan as well. But the church will certainly wonder how they didn't get that score. As PJ Collins, the chairman, looks at his watch as well. He has Jim Fogarty there on his left hand side, dead straight here in front of it. Shawnee Halladon there, the red jacket Shawnee, uh, the man who owns the bridge house in Golden, a great place for a pint, the same as the cornerstone above and two. He's, I'd be ashamed to any upper trust man if they came down and if they were put out before two o'clock in the morning to be all a bloody matter. In Golden, we're lucky enough, we, we abide by the rules and the laws and everything else, but that we still a, a great pull there by Sean Mineshiner. His dad was from Salahead there and the mother is from around, uh, I think, Hollyford side, and uh, Church are trying to rein. The, the, the referee has the hands up, ready to take off like a plane in Shannon Airport, but the Church dead straight in front of the post, and what a score that was. Paddy Green, this man is having a good game for goal, for uh, Upper Church. Uh, I suppose the Golden Kilfeekle lads dominated the county semi-final from the centre field with Sean Hayes there, and... Uh, and uh, uh, James O'Connell, whilst they're having good games today, nevertheless, they're probably uh, uh, knocking two right good lads there from the church as well, in Seamus Armstrong and Pardy Green. The ball is uh, their stalemate around centre of the field, the church lead 16 points to 14, they're dead straight in front of the goal, and again, the John Ryan takes off, and a great ball from John Ryan in around the house, but Christopher Ryan watches it, goes to the right of the post and wide, and Christopher Ryan will puck out this ball fairly quick now, as Golden and Kilfeek are trying to get a man loose for the quick puck out, but... Uh, Upper Church of it, well policed there of what's going on. 
The ball is going to be poked out again by Christopher Ryan, the man from Bally McCady. Not related to the other match or Christopher Ryan was there from Bally McCady as well. They're different Ryans. Uh, and the ball is what a catch again by Josh Keane from all of 45, 50 yards. Certainly, I'm saying he scores the score of the game. And what a save there by Dear McGrant. A dangerous ball coming in around the house. Who's in around the there? Is he fouled? He's not fouled. The referee has play on. If that goes over, it's a great score. What a score there from Golden King people. A tremendous score there from Gordon Kilpeak. Was it by Sean Hayes gone into the corner? A wonderful score from him. I'm just looking at him there. Gordon changed around a small bit there. Or was it James Connell there? I have to see his number there in a minute when he comes out. The ball is going to be poked out again for, for, uh, the right, for Upper Church from Ben by Young Grant and Stephen Ryan pulls in the ball, misses it, but Sean Hayes has it now again. Yes, Sean Hayes, that was a great point from Sean Hayes uh, there. Uh, a wonderful score from him. Thomas Borden was there, he's like a greyhound turning a hair at a coursing meeting. Thomas was left for dead with that turn. But what a catch there by the golden centre back, one Aidan O'Connell, the captain of the team. And a ball out towards Cricky Ryan as well. Thomas Borden has gone back in full forward. That's number 13, young Liam Nagel. Has had a good game today, but the ball lands there for the church as well. Was he swung around the referee West play on? And uh, play uh, keeps going here as the ball comes out near the sideline. Stephen Ryan pulls on that ball, but he's beaten to the pull there by number seven. The man from Upper Church, that is David Burke, wins that uh, pull on the ball, but Golden and Kilpeakle uh, win the sideline. To be taken by Stephen Ryan there. His dad is John, he used to have the car sales in Golden. Mother is Katrina, she's one of the Ryan Sandys. Nursing there in Clonmel, in the hospital in Clonmel, but Stephen is having quite a good game, goes to UL, and I've no doubt, like any other young fellow, would know many of the upper church youngsters going to UL and college and third level and that. The number eight for uh, the church there is a fine young fellow as well, Sam Armstrong, but uh, that's a great clearance there from the upper church centre back. I think it was John Ryan Jay across to the far side. And again, what you call him cause consternation there, Paul Shanahan. What a flick from Paul Shanahan. The left-handed guy, the referee race play on. As I said, the arms are out in the air like an, air, an airplane waiting to take off in Shannon Airport. The ball is hooshed around the square, the, around the 21, 25 metre line. The referee has the hands out again. Says, play away, lads, there. We'll uh, play, have to play the whistle and that's it. I bet you he'll probably cause for a scrum now. It's like a, a rugby. He'll have to wait and see what happens beyond. He's still letting it go beyond. And what a ball into the centre. Number eight, well blocked down there by Alan Wade. As the shot looked to be going for the post. But uh, good recovery there by Matthew Ryan beyond. Corner back for Gordon Kilfeek. And won by James Barlow back into young Josh. Josh tried to flick it on there for number nine. Number nine is Sean Hayes. A great ball. Oh, Sean. Sean Hayes. James O'Connell got a, got a great point the last time I didn't see him, but Thomas uh, Buttons has that ball, and uh, just look at this. Is the referee going to throw it in? It's 16 points to 15 in favour of the church, and the cornerback gets that ball out. Actually, there a couple of mu uh, minutes ago, it was uh, James O'Connell got a wonderful score for Golden Kilfeek. I said for Sean Hayes, I didn't uh, know there until I saw the numbers and the helmet and that, a great score. What's his time is this? 16.15. Tom on the radio phone will tell us down here. Tom, how much is gone? How many minutes? <laughs> 20, 23 minutes gone here in the right. 23 minutes gone, seven minutes to go. It's 16-15 in favour of the church. What a performance both teams have served up here today. Whether it was the church or Golden that you support, both of them have served up a wonderful display of under 21 B hurling that certainly augurs well for their own clubs down the line in a couple of years' time when they when they uh, play senior hurling. And a great strike at the ball there. That's high, that's good, and it goes in around the square. Up they go and down they come. And mother of Christ, the work tonight, I don't believe it. How did that happen? Or is it... A Tis a goal, a goal for the church. We actually don't know who got it. I don't know, but it certainly looked danger from the time it went in. And uh, I've no doubt that the likes of Big Paul Shannon, he'll be done on Kieran Shop. Any one of the three will probably claim the goal. I don't know who got the holy to it, but Christopher Ryan couldn't be blamed because when the ball goes in like that around centre uh, and lands inside in the square, there's not an awful lot. 
than we can do it. And a great ball in from number nine. Thomas Bordens has the ball. He tries to get in. He's a big man. A shot that's low. That's half. And the goalie, young Grant, goes out to the safety of the touchline. The referee waves play on. He gets the ball out beyond the far sideline. And it's a long raking clearance there out on centre of the field. Up they go. And again, Dunho will try to win this ball, but he does. Uh, Shannon will try to win this ball, but he doesn't. The scale maker, Sean Ryan Shine is in on the far side. Up a shot, lad, but it's a free to Golden Kinfiegel. That could be a small bit of fisty cuffs, etc. Ourselves in Golden. We're not into fighting. The church can do all the fighting. Uh, there's plenty of fight up there around the church. Uh, so, my great friend, Perky, Perky Whelan, tells me that there's great uh, fight in the upper church, lads. And he says all the fathers and mothers of that upper church team, they're all big farmers, getting three or four grants a month. There's no bloody fear of the holes at all up here in upper church from Ben. Thomas, uh, not Thomas Bottoms, number 10 it is. Josh is going through. The ball is whipped off his holly for a 65 metres, three to, uh, uh, 65 to Golden Kilfiegel. I suppose about 10 yards in, maybe 15 yards into the touchline to be taken possibly by Josh, is it, or is he going to stay inside? One sixteen is nineteen pints to to the church. Fifteen pints to Golden Kilfiegel. The free is taken by one uh, young O'Connell, Shane O'Connell. It lands about thirty yards out. Uh, young Cricky Ryan is going through the heart of the upper church defence, and the referee says he was nudged off the ball, and uh, it's a free to Golden Kilfiegel. Will they have to go for a goal? Will they go for a pint with five minutes still remaining? I. Myself, I think I'd go for the pint in the hope that uh, you'd get a goal in the last five minutes. Then again, Josh is taking it and looking at the way he's set up, I think he's going to go for the goal. He has a desperate rap in the ball and he could stick it in the back of the nets. And if he does, Upper Church will be leading by a pint. Josh is going to go for the big one. The referee says nobody moves. The green helmet of Josh Keane been faced there by half the church backs. Ben's lift strikes. What a shot. What a save. And I would have went for the pint myself and had a chance to goal coming in the last five minutes on play. The church are trying to get it down again, but Golden has certainly served up a wonderful performance here today. They're trying to win a lot of ball out there around centre of the field. They're stalemate again. The church have it. Now they're going to roll the side on the far side. The referee is only 10 yards away. Ball on the ground there and all. Stalemate and everything else. The referee says it's a free to the church. The churchman was on the ground. A free to the church to be taken there by possibly... Uh, Paul Ryan, the captain. The church lead there on the score of 116 to 15 points. In Golden, we think there's six minutes. The church says there's three minutes, so definitely they must be leading. Could I make Murray's tonight or Canaan's or Oliver Ryan's? I don't know. Maybe I might make one of the hostelries up there. Uh, we might have that video there. We'll see later on. I'd have went for a pint, I'll leave myself. I'd have went for a pint, yeah. I'd have went for a pint. Take a take chance. A take, a, take a chance, you get the goal. goal yeah. You're still at five minutes left. That's what I would have done anyway. What's left now, then? I'd say two or three minutes left. Yeah, a couple of minutes. Yeah, not very much now. The church lead on the score of 116, which is 19 pints to 15. Did, yeah. Golden are very loose off their man beyond there. Very, very loose. A shot that's high, that's good. And it's certainly a wonderful score. As good as you could see in any county on the 21 v Holly. As the church introduces shot, a sub, number 23, Padraig Shot, runs onto the field of play. And that was a wonderful score. The Golden are very loose, they're very naive. But you have to uh, uh, mark up your men in all situations as Christopher Ryan pucks out the ball. And the church now lead by 117, which is 20 points to Golden is 15. And the church are certainly on form now. The possibly a small bit more uh, uh, tuned in than Golden, I suppose. It's a fellow that they might have got better games along during the year. Uh, whereas Golden Kilfiegel came through the West Championship, which was quite weak this year, Perth Manacafty. This fellow has a great shot in the ball. Look, they're playing wonderful hurling. Jim Connell has tried to go back there to mark his man as well. 
a shot that's low, that's hard, but uh, Christopher Ryan, who certainly can't be faulted in this entire campaign this year, the under 21 B Holland. And it's all over here in the right. The church lead on the uh, win on the score of 117, which is 20 points to Golden Kid 15, Kid Fiegel 15. Again, well done to both teams, to their mentors, and to all who came here to the right today. It was a fine game of hurling. There was no uh, bit of rows or anything like that in it. They wanted to do nothing when they played the ball, and it was wonderful to see it in the conditions today. Golden would certainly be disappointed, I suppose, but the church maybe were, the, were slightly the better team on the day, played the better hurling, and uh, found their men a small bit better, but that comes down to cuteness. But Golden, with 11 of those players, young enough for next year, uh, hopefully, please God, that they'll... Uh, uh, win a county next year, please God. They said you have to win one to lose one, or lose one to win one, and uh, Golden Kid Week will be back again, I've no doubt, with Jim Fogarty and Shawnee and Kevin Maloney and all those lads in charge, and well done to the board clubs. Heartiest congratulations to Upper Church, from Ben on a marvellous victory, and to the great man there up from the Upper Church, a guy named the great Packy Wheel in the Count of Cordoff. Uh, well done to him. Uh, I hope Golden Kid Week will, will, uh, I hope Golden Kid Week will, uh, will, will, will win one, uh, before Fine Gael go out of power. So lads, that's it for myself, Johnny Luke. We'll see you, lads. Yeah, no, no, you couldn't see the Gelties. Well, I can see, uh, the, I can see the fucking Gelties all right, but that's not much good to me. We have no cup going back to the Gelties. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to compliment both teams on a terrific display of commitment and hurling. But firstly, I must compliment the Drum and Inch GA Club who made their field available to us today. They had it closed, and when the request came to open the field for the county final, they did so. They had some work to do yesterday and the day before. I'd like to thank them for that. Secondly, I'd like to thank the county chairman for affording me the opportunity to present this cup. You could go through a term of office and never get the opportunity. He was fortunate three weeks ago to present it to his own club. I have the same opportunity today. I want to compliment the referee, John Cleary and his officials, who did an excellent job on what was a game was easy to do. So I want to compliment both teams on the way they played the game. It gives me great pleasure as Vice Chairman of the County Board to present this cup to one of our own, Paul Ryan. Uh, oh, thanks, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> testing, testing. Uh, no, I I just like to start off by reiterating what Mick there said. Thanking the reg for the, the impeccable condition the field is in here today as always. Let's, you could go around the length of the country and you wouldn't find the field as good as what it was today. So thanks very much. Here we are. I'd like to thank Thank our official, or the, the match officials there today, John. He think he met, he added to the game like it made a very easy flowing game like and was, with some good hard hits here today, lads, and it was, it was very enjoyable to play. in any, I don't know, I like to watch, but just it was nice to play. So thanks very much. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank their own boys over us, Owen, Mick, and Party. Like, lads, they've been there with us since day one, like, and it's nice. Honours don't crown too much in this club now. It's nice to be a part of it now, and thanks very much, lads. You put in the hard work, and you got the award. I know it went on into Christmas, but it was well worth it now. Well, 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 thanks very much. Well, well, um, I'd like to thank Golden for a great game there today, lads. We are coming down under no illusions of what a tough game was going to be today. They did a spell already in the challenge match earlier in this year, like, and we knew they were going to put us to the pin of our collar. So let's three cheers for going. Yeah.